In this video, we'll be creating a RESTful API test flow by using a few add-ons to perform API calls, extract results from them, and then use them in our UI tests. To get started, simply get the RESTful API client add-on from the add-on section. Let's start by creating a simple web test. Select the web option and hit next. Here you'll need to give your test a name and an optional description. Next we'll need to choose an application. Let's add a new one. Let's hit finish, next and start recording. This should open a new Chrome window where we can start creating steps. Let's create an API request in our test by pressing add a step manually and searching for the get command. In here, we'll use a free public API you can use to generate random user credentials. This will be our URI endpoint. Let's give an expected status. And let's store our server response in the parameter. Now, the agent is loading up the add-on code and executing it to get our API results. As we can see, the server responded with 200 and gave us a random user. After performing the request, I'd like to extract information from a response and use it in my flow. I'd like to extract the first name and the last name. So let's extract multiple JSON path from the response. Let's search for the action. It'll prompt me to install the JSON operations add-on. This add-on contains many different kinds of actions that can be used to manipulate JSON strings. Let's insert the JSON value, the server response. Now we'll need to insert the JSON path. Let me extract the first name with this JSON path. And then the second. I'll store them in parameters. Next, I'd like to type their names into the full name text box. So let me quickly create the type text step and use the parameters I used to store the first and last names. Then I'll type in the password. Now let me run the test. As we can see, the name was typed in with brackets and quotes. I don't want to see these in the name, so I'll remove them. We can use another action for that called replace 
subscreen with regex. Here I'll need to input one of the parameters and the regex I'd like to use to remove the unwanted characters. I'll use this and I'll leave replacement empty to just remove them. I'll place the results in the first name to override it with the correct parameter and save the step. As we can see, the name is now correct. Now I can duplicate the step and do the same for the last name. Now I can just drag these before typing the text. And now let's run the test again. As you can see, the text was, was typed is now correct without the additional characters. You can always find more information about add-ons and how to use them through the test project documentation. You can find the documentation from here. Then, simply search for the add-on or topic you'd like to view information from. Here, we can see all the actions in the add-on, their inputs and outputs, and how to use them.